Hi, today I'm going to test run the genset remotely from the ATS panel. Okay, uh, I'm going to check the parameters of the genset from remotely. And I'm going to start it remotely, check it remotely, and allow it to off automatically remotely. Okay, so I will only focus on the main parameters, which is voltage, frequency, and uh, as well as the single phase and three phase okay as frequency will determine the rpm of the genset if let's say i acquire 50 hertz that means the engine is in good condition which is 1500 rpm in general terms and if let's say the voltage is acquired to a healthy level which is uh, somewhere around the range of 230 or 240 in terms of single phase and as three phase which is 415 somewhere around that range that means the ABR is in good condition okay so uh, do take note of the how long the genset needs to acquire it to full speed from idle speed and also uh, how long it need to shut down after you have normalized the control circuit all right, here we have it. All right, this is the ATS panel. Currently, the main supply is available and the genset is in off condition. Okay, this is the genset ATS controller unit. Okay, here we have these three views going to the UVR and these three fields from the genset okay how I'm going to trigger the genset to run first of all I need to off the genset MCB first in order when the genset is running the power supply won't straight come back over here and change over because I just want to test the genset under off load condition later on I'm going to off the UVR re uh, MCB read MCB power supply to trigger this thing so that it can call the genset to start automatically okay so let's trigger it as the genset run okay there will be power supply over here quite fast less than five seconds Okay, now the sensor is running already. Okay, in order to normalize it, you cannot on the genset MCB first. Let's on back the UVR relay MCB first. All right. Then only on back the MCB going to the genset. Okay. Now here we have it. The genset is running, so from here, we're going to check the voltage. First of all, let us check the frequency. Using the Unity UT204 plus meter. How to check the frequency? Okay, put it to the frequency mode and then clamp over here. Red phase, we have 50.12 Hz. Right, more or less the same, but we check that all three phases. Yellow phase we have 50.2 hertz, and blue phase we have around 50.0 uh, 50.1 hertz. Okay, so which means the RPM is okay. All right, later we're going to check the voltage. Let's see what the voltage would be. Okay, we're going to check the single phase. All right, single phase around 240, red, yellow, and blue. Okay, about 240. Then we're going to check the three phase. All 
about 416 okay yellow and blue 416 and last but not least it's the red and blue 416 okay there you have it this is how we're going to check the genset remotely from the ATS panel everything is done under remote okay there you have it I hope my sharing could help you test the genset remotely that means it's a different type of testing besides always uh, starting a genset manually inside the genset room or using a test mode testing the genset remotely can help you identify from the ATS panel whether the power supply reaches here or not and also from the ATS panel can call the genset to start and stop okay or not okay and also you can acquire the frequency level here okay and also the voltage this is very important all right thank you